this place. What is this place? My settlement. In pain. I let my people Broken. here. Promised them a new life. You called this home. An escape from the madness and misery across the sea. For some time we were happy. Like us. We were happy. Until here. Well, then the volcano and the darkness came. The monster started enslaving people. Ittoiga stalks my settlement when night falls. It tramples our crops and kills what little livestock we've left. We're starving. Why don't you leave? <laughs> we tried. They failed. No matter how far we get by day, as night falls, she hunts us down. And there are children here. People too weak to run. We're trapped. Night on night, our numbers fall. They are dead if they don't fight back. Look, can you see them, Senna? Cracks, cracks in the ground. The land is broken. Iltoiga made them. She did this. The giants they hunt at night. The sun. It's going down. She's coming. The light is fading. Be careful. Gods tell how, in the time of Grettir's kinsman Thorgrim, there was a terrible famine. No crops could be grown, and the fish fled the nets. It lasted years, and the people were desperate. There was no respite even in spring, since terrible gales from the north would rise up and set in for weeks. This is a cold and unforgiving land, Sinoa. And far away, they say the winds are trapped inside the earth. They try always to make their escape. And they buffet and beat on the walls of their prison, causing the earth to quiver. And when they break through, they make their escape. They explode out in fury.
what? What a ruin. Where is everyone? On the rocks. Hi. Safe. Rito, I can't reach them. You should have joined us when we offered you the chance. There is no honor in the path you've chosen. Say that again, old man. And I'll cut you like a fish. Thorgester, have a look around you. Have a thought as to who your real enemy is. What does he mean, who is the real enemy? The giants are the real enemy. No honor. He said there was no honor in the enslaver's path. Which path did he choose? This place has secrets. She needs to find out. She can see the thread that binds the world. Can feel its hidden pulse knows when that pulse quickens. She feels it now. The tremor on her skin. A being taking shape. Something is coming. To run. Run! Ah! She's here. Let's go. Get to the hills! Get out of here. Yeah. 
help us. Yes. Go! You saved him, remember? Yes, he saved me. Stop thinking. Stop. Hide! Run! She will not spare you again. Go! She's coming back! Enjoy it! Some will so strong they dream a new world. A hell of their own creation. And they will not sit lonely in that nightmare. If you wake the dreamer, does the nightmare die? You're not safe yet. Where are we? Make him explain. What is happening? Il Toyka. Who is she? So when the volcano erupted, it tore open the wall between this world and Yurtenheim. Now Yurtenheim. suffers too. The giants came flooding from the east, killing and eating More whomever they could lay their hands on. You know, some of us, we hide. You have to fight, not hide. Make defenses, struggle on. And some of us, Use others to stem the tides. Others? What do you mean? Shall I tell her, Fulgistur? Tell me, tell me. Shall I tell her what your father's been doing? What else is there to do, Fagrimmer? We found a way to keep our people safe. He is part of it too, he believes. Your people are dying. Yes, there is no other way. Tell us, tell us. What are they doing? The Gode of Borgarvirki is using slaves. Slaves from your lands. Sacrifices. Sacrifice. He's offering them to the giants so that his people will be left. He takes innocent people. Evil. This stops now. He's a monster. You can't stand alone against us. You have no giants. He does not see, but he can see. His darkness is evil. We can show him. He's a monster. There is another way. There is always another way. Toga has your mark now. If you try to leave the Red Hills, he will hunt and kill you. No. Then I will kill her first. She, she can't be killed. It's impossible. I have killed a god, Fagrima. Nothing is impossible. No. There is no way. He is right. We cannot kill the giant. The gods cannot be killed. You can't. You deserve this. Why did you come here, Senua? To stop the slavers? You thought you were helping them. And now you are stranded. Stay. You can't stop them. You can't kill the giant. I will. I will kill the giant. You can't kill the giant. light to banish the darkness.
is not so easy to banish me, child. You can't beat me down anymore. My path is the only path. You can't hurt me. You can't keep me trapped. You will never find your way through this nightmare. You're always blinded by your madness, your curse. <laughs> hurt me. I carry the light. Light fades, Senua. Light can be killed. The darkness is all that persists. Your only constant. There is no way out. Let's 
gods. It's time to give up, child. Leave this land. No! What you did to me, I see it here. They are cowed like I was. Lost like I was. Believing what they're told. Sacrifices. Spilling blood for a lie! darkness now. I see through your lies, and I will show them how to see as I do. I will not appease your gods. I will destroy them. tried to hold you down in the darkness. The darkness. Told you there was no way out. That the gods ruled you. But you fought back. You were strong. Maybe you can fight back now. She can fight back. She can. Maybe there is a way to pull through. There is always a way to pull through the darkness. The darkness. To kill the giant. She will find a way. She is strong. You are powerful. She is stronger than this. You can kill their gods. She knows the truth. She sees it now. Tell him. You are wrong, Fagrimer. The giant snake can be killed. <laughs> there is a way. Well, I'm not sure I believe that. But I think if anyone can find a way, it's you. He knows we are special. Before, when I rescued you, he understood you. He said you were waiting for me. He felt us coming. But I'd never met you. How can he see inside well, you? I knew someone would come. Somebody different. You are different. Somebody with the ability to look at the world and see what might be. You are special. Now what is? She's not special. And that is you. She's just like the others. No, she I've is special. I've seen you listening to the voices that we cannot hear. To the Varadir and Gandir. Voices? How does he know about us? You have the ability to see behind the veil. You are a Sedkona, 
A seer. Whether you know it yet or not. A seer? What is this he speaks of? Do you know, Senwa? Do you know this is you? Iltoiga. Where does she go when the sun is up? She brings suffering to everyone. A monster. She hides down there. Hiding? Waiting? Under the cover of the cliff. She's there most days. Just staying close. These people live in fear. Waiting for us to slip. Constant fear. They are waiting but to you die. You can approach you down there in the shadows. You don't stand a chance. And she won't come out until it's night. You have to do something. This is why you have been called here, Senwa. They shouldn't live in fear. He knows. Listen to him. Have you heard of the Hidden Folk? Hidden Folk? The Hidden Folk? Yeah. Have you heard of them? A secret people. Powerful, aloof. One of them gods or something like, but now they hide themselves in the earth. Even the giants steer clear. The giants fear them. If the giants fear them, they must hold the key to death. They hold the secret. Will they help us? Well, they have no love for man. And whatever ties we have are weaved from heartbreak and despair. Although I did consume their bitter bread. He has found them. Just once. So it is and not I impossible. What I sought. If he can find them, you can find <laughs> them. They will. They will test you. We have been tested. They might before. even try to kill you. But if you win their favor, we might die. They might give you what you seek. Where can I find them? They will give us what we seek. There's a rock. Close to here, where they are said to live. Its entrance is hidden. You might find it. She will find it. They want you to? You will. I will find it. We might die down there. No. We could die trying to find them. They will give us what we seek. They are dangerous. But they will help us. We will make them. Make them? They know things. They can see things. They can hear things. They are the ones that pulled us here. They are the feelings so that brought us here. They will save everyone from death. They will show you how to end the giants. They will save you. But be careful. No more sacrifices. Be careful, Senwa. This stops now. Orchester of Borkevirki. What is he doing here? Are they here to help? Not him. He won't help us. I don't like this. What about the others? I don't know. We're better to stay away from them. Thorgrim found a huge finback whale, beached and dead. His neighbor, Thorfinn, had already found it and was in the process of flensing it. But Thorgrim claimed it as his own. Thorfinn said he would not give it up without a fight. If that's what you want, Thorgrim said, let it be so. And he launched a blow at Thorfinn, cutting off his head in one strike.
She has been chosen. All the lost ones. Only she can save them. All the people here dying in this nightmare. Only she can set them free. And she's running out of time. Every day that dies, every sun that sets, another loses their life. Night fading from their eyes and name cast away on the wind. And soon the sun will set for good. of your birth, people live hidden too, in the hills and stones. They may be the remnants of a godly race, who lost a war with giants and, finding the world changed, retreated into silence. But you still see their carvings and circles from the time when they walked among men. There's always more. 
Well done, Senua. She is strong enough. You will not die like the others before. You will survive this. Vagrim and you. He could see her. See what she really is. He knows about us. He can hear us as well. He doesn't hate her. Hate us. Not like the others. He accepts her. He accepts us. Her. He wasn't surprised. You are strong and wise and good. They may hear your plea and send you aid. But if you are not, or if you do not respect the strictures they lay down, you might have your strife doubled. and axes they had brought to cut up the whale, even picking out the whale ribs to beat down their enemies. Thorgrim's men had loaded their boats with whale meat, but as they went to leave, one of their opponents struck Thorgrim's brother a fatal blow. And this is how hunger fates desperate men to come to blows, striking out against one another to survive. Find the altar.
more bodies. Bodies. They came to ask for help, but now they are dead. Bring it back to them. Let them see. You are not like the others. of your birth and in these lands too they know that people can be taken by the secret fair ones if you are not careful and do not keep to the pathways you may find yourself among them Lose the thread, the hidden thread.
recalls speak of the time Grettir, traveling with some others, ran into rough weather and docked their boat on an island. They had not brought fire with them, and the merchants complained bitterly. Seeing a great fire blazing on the other side of the strait, Grettir said he would swim over to fetch it. He took off his clothes and struck out across the water, wearing nothing but a cloak. Yes, she can still hear them. She can. We can follow them. You have to follow them now. <sighs> when Grettir came to the farm where the fire was burning, all was peaceful. By the time he reached them, his cloak was frozen stiff, and he looked like nothing more than some huge troll. The frightened farmhands struck out at him with the first things to hand, the burning logs from the fire. Grettir fought them off and got the fire he sought. But the sparks from the logs spread fire all over the house, and nobody survived the blaze. Over there. It's coming from down there. They question you. Are you the one, Senwa? She has to be. The lake is here too. Look at the water. This doesn't feel right. So deep and dark. It is trying to claim us. Trying to take you down. I'm scared. 
Scalds say that Grettir swam back across the strait, keeping the fire safe from the water. His friends applauded Grettir's bravery, but when word spread about the massacre at the farm, people took against Grettir. Nobody wanted anything to do with him, and when the news reached the Althing in the summer, Grettir was pronounced an outlaw. All doors would hence be shut to him. Grima saw it. 
the part of her she keeps hidden, pushed down, covered with silence. Fagrima saw that too, no matter how much she tries to hide it from the world. And now that part of her that scared her for so long, that she fought so hard, has brought her to this place, chosen, special. But will she be enough? What will they ask of her? Can she give it? 